I'm Isabella. I'm Chris. Listen, my aunt is waiting for me, but it was nice to meet you, Chris. You too. There's a soiled pair of Ferrari underwear in the men's room trash. Who took them out of the sink? They were soaking. Sir, I can't park this. There's diarrhea all over the front seat of your PT Cruiser. Isabella, listen. Hey, your aunt is Consuela? Hi, Consuela. You two know each other? Oh, yeah, Lemon Pledge. No, no, all that stuff. It's time to go. Lemon Pledge. No, no. <laughs> See? I saw a lady in the tramp, so I asked if we could eat spaghetti in the alley, but they said no because of all the homeless masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, where are you off to? Oh, Isabella's coming. Deeper than that, Lois. <laughs> Brian! Oh, hello, Isabella. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Mr. Griffin. Mr. Griffin's up here, sweetheart. Well, I guess you two... Go away, Mr. Herbert! It's not me. I'm in your closet. Isabella! Is everything okay? Chris, I just wanted to say goodbye. In housekeeping and being the new CEO of Yahoo. Maybe we should improve our business model. No, no. Improve our original content? No, no. So we have no corporate identity? Isabella, I want to do this. Grace, stop. You would really look after my kids for me? Of course I would. You're a wonderful man, Grace Griffin. Thank you. Gracias. I'll be back as soon as I can. He bought a breastfeeding book. Someone may want to pop in on him. There's no way Chris is going to be able to take care of two babies. Well, maybe he should have thought of that before he opened his slut legs. No. All right, guys. Nothing but the best for you two. So I got you all organic, non-GMO, no hormone food. That'll be $500. Ah. Well, sorry, kids. Looks like we're going to go to Jersey Mike's and hope that... What's this? They can't solve this crime. They're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime. They just know their parents aren't there. They're scared. Now I'm scared. Turn this off! <laughs> Ah, I'm gonna go hide in my couch fault. His boss get new wiper blades. No more. Eee, pop, 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 pop. Eee, pop, 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 pop. Well, these kids are not staying here. You gotta take them. How can I take them when I was never? Absolutely not. Well, now, now hold on, Lois. Hold on. Maybe Chris getting a job's not the worst idea. I mean, I made pretty good money when I hosted that confusing game show. All right, Phil, come stand by me. It's Ashley's turn. Ashley, go ahead. Pick an answer, find a question. I mean, we're going to Mexico so we can give these kids back to their mother. Peter, back me up here. Let's get those kids back to their mama. Look how winded he is from doing that one spin. <sighs> Boy, what a trip. Chris, are you sure this is Isabella's village? Place for Isabella to raise a family? Uh, you're right, Chris. I didn't want you to have to raise those babies yourself. Mark Cuban, oh, we're getting all the wrong eyebrow guys. Mrs. Griffin, you would take the risk of smuggling me and my children across the border? Peter, it's time for lunch. Sorry, Lois, can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, I guess I haven't seen that mongoose in a while. We're having sloppy joes. <laughs> All right. Hold it right there! Uh-oh, somebody's coming. Now, now, hold on, hold on. I put my business card in a fishbowl at an El Torito. This could be about that. <laughs> Policia, put your fat guido. No, Peter, that's the wrong racial slur. No, I know. I was just thinking about Snooky. Boy, I can't believe there'd be corrupt... You think she's set for life? Peter, we're about to die! <laughs> no! My babies! Get out of here! You leave them alone! <laughs> uh, Chris! Name? Uh, Peter Griffin? Peter Griffin's here to surrender for his vehicular manslaughter. What? No, I'm a good boy! He is a good boy. Time for clean getaway. Consuela? Dia? Oh, thank God. 
How did you find us? Baby's hearing have chip. Toward a Dollywood. Was I right or was I right? Yep, totally worth the extra two days. Well, Chris, I owe you an apology. I didn't believe in you. I was wrong to say you couldn't handle the responsibility of taking... ...for trusting me to figure it out for myself. I love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetheart. Isabella, being with you has been... House! Yeah, I heard you! Oh, dear God. Oh, they're all dead. No! Please, no! <laughs> Don't need a translator for that one. Tell him to come back when he's ready to act like an adult. Hey, what's up, Quag? This is the biggest city ovation I've ever seen! Damn it, where the hell did I put that? What are you looking for, Brian? That steak bone you gave me last night. I can't remember what the hell I did with it. What, didn't you bring it out? Found him, he was just walking face first into a chain link fence downtown. All right, almost done here, Glenn. There we are, all finished. Oh, look at this. Bandages in the middle of all this crap. Uh, I think he keeps him next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just... Barely pay my bills. I can't even afford the real pharmacy music. That's just me up there. Listen. If this is it, ooh-ah, please let me know. If this ain't love, you better just... Uh, I don't know, maybe there's something we can do to help you drum up some business. You know, get the word out. Like what? Hey, you just leave that to us. Get that. Get one free. Is that like a Spanish word? No, it's English. The whole thing's English. Oh, because it seems like you're saying the first part in English and then some kind of made up a fulum fulum for something in the second part. I don't understand you. All right, l l let me try explaining... Eh, this ain't so hard. Hey, check it out. We got a giggity over there on the 32nd floor. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. <laughs> All right. Quagmire, look out! Oh, no! Good evening, Quahog. Grim details continue to roll in at this hour in the story of the detached airplane advertising banner, which caused a school bus to plummet into the Pawtuxet River. That's right, Joyce. Quahog's own Goldman's Pharmacy made headlines across the country. It's everything! Ah, gosh, Mort, I feel terrible about this. I wish there was some way we could fix it. You know, my cousin had the same problem, but he lucked out because his business burnt to the ground. The insurance made him a very rich man. <laughs> Too bad we can't just torch the... Yeah, come to think of it, they wouldn't even pay for the fetus Lois lost when we went to visit the Museum of Staircases and Spring-Loaded Boxing Gloves. Yeah, you know, they don't seem to pay out on anything. No, yeah, not at all, true. right? I mean, come they on. Don't pay. Well, and I say, screw... Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. And take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah? Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. Okay, guys, listen up. This is least intact sleeve. I am paying for fully formed crackers, not butter crumbles. I don't buy your product with broken quarters. Don't stick me with broken pieces of cracker, you miserable dicks. Regards, Mort Gold. Oh my god, we did it! Hey, Peter, what are you gonna tell Lois when she asks where you were tonight? Don't worry, I got it all covered. Ah. <laughs> you hear what he said, fellas? Looks like we pulled it off. Yeah, for now. But I still got a bad feeling. He's gonna find something, I just know it. Well, you relax, we got an ironclad alibi. We were all seeing the Beatles live at the Ed Sullivan Show. Oh, thank you, Joe. I was very, very sorry, too. Yeah, Joe, the insurance guy said it was an accident. Yeah, he seemed pretty smart. His shirt was tucked in, so I bet he went to Harvard. Well, you're my friend, Mort. I want you to know that I'm going to personally go over all the... Steak! You're damn right it was. Why did I ever agree to do this? This isn't who I am. I looked in the mirror this morning, and it, it was like I was looking at a man I'd never seen before. Hi. Scott Bakula. Just take it easy, Quagmire. Maybe you should keep him. All right, I'll see you guys later. I gotta go see the forensics team about the pharmacy. Don't you worry, Mort. We'll get to the bottom of this. I, I don't like this, you guys. This is bad. Joe's gonna... For all.
Officer Swanson, this is the chief of police. I'm afraid you're fired. I see. Well, that's too bad. I was looking forward to giving you your birthday present next week. Oh, these burn ignition patterns aren't consistent with an electrical fire. Would love to. Probably about seven. Oh, he's getting annoyed. Look at that. He sure is. Okay, now tell him you want a vegan place. Oh my god, he's so pissed he's calling. Well, answer it. No, no, no. I'm gonna send it to voicemail, then call him back, but pocket dial him while I walk a few blocks. Peter? See you on the night of the fire. No. None of us were. I'm, I'm triplets. Could have been one of my triplets. I see. Well, then it's kind of peculiar that I would find this. A pocket dial voicemail from Peter on the night of the fire. Oh my god, look at that fire we... First, I have to read you the Miranda rights for Jewish people. You have the right to remain silent, even though you won't. You have the right to infer an insult where none was intended. What's that supposed to mean? You have the right to a lawyer who you are pro- Where were you the night of the fire? I was at the movies. What did you see? No strings attached. How was it? Sucked. Okay, that checks out. Boy, that Ashton Kutcher sure was a cat in that movie, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, totally. Wrong! He had a heart attack. Carvel, you lying bitch! All right, that's enough. Visiting time is over. You know you guys are gonna do time for this. Come on, Joe, you're really gonna put us away? You think I wanna do this? You know how hard it's gonna be for me to make new friends? Oh, I don't, do I? Well, let me tell you a little story. It was hours after my accident. I was barely conscious on the operating table, but I'll never forget the phone call that changed my life. Hello, I'm calling on- Care about you? Why should you care about them? The thing is, you guys committed a crime, and I've still got the evidence to prove it. Too bad I lost it. Message deleted. Was that wrong? You're supposed to get punished. Oh, Chris, not if you're white. Well, now that I've wrapped things up with you guys, I better wrap things up with my basement family. Well, did you guys learn your lesson about eating uncooked antelope?